Well, today we are seeing yet another spring-like day with temperatures already getting well into the 50s across the area, including 53 in Rockford, 56 now in Rochelle. Sycamore has just warmed up to 58 degrees. And they're going to continue to climb, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few 60 degree numbers over the rest of the afternoon, as we'll see much more sunshine into the afternoon as clouds gradually be, uh, continue to move out of the picture and temperatures getting up into those upper 50s as we head towards the heat of the day in the afternoon. Though, again, like I said, wouldn't be surprised if we see some 60s yet again for the third straight day, if you can imagine that for mid to late February. Later on tonight, though, as those cloud as those clouds continue to clear out and we have clear skies tonight, we'll have those temperatures dropping down to near freezing. We'll also have a breeze continuing to pick up. We'll get have gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. So plan on a little bit of a breezy start to your day tomorrow, but this breeze is kicking up ahead of a cold front that is going to be pushing into the area. It's coming in from Canada overnight, and then as we head towards about this time tomorrow, that's going to be starting to reach into our area. This front is bringing much colder temperatures from the north and also is kicking up some precipitation. And with the colder temperatures, that's going to be bringing in the chances for flurries across the area. Maybe some initial rain showers and then changing over to some wet snowflakes as we head into Friday afternoon and evening. Not expecting any impacts with this, maybe just some low visibility as the snow is falling. So that's really the only thing to keep out, uh, keep a watch out for. Not expecting any, any kind of accumulations just because we'll have been in the 60s the previous uh, three days. And as that uh, precipitation moves out, we clear out looks like for the rest of the week. So we just have to deal with some flurries tomorrow afternoon, but otherwise much cooler, only up to four 42 degrees for a high tomorrow and then into the weekend only up to 38 on Saturday we will wake up to wind chills in the teens so another frigid start to the weekend but we'll see plenty of sunshine but then notice what happens as we head into Sunday about a 20 degree spike in temperatures getting into the mid 50s as we head into Sunday and that trend continues into the early part of next week. We get back into the 60s by Monday and Tuesday. We'll have to watch for that thunderstorm chance for Tuesday afternoon. There could be a, 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 a risk for some stronger storms there. That'll be a, a trend that we'll keep an eye on. But then a cold front comes through, cooling us off into your most accurate 10-day forecast. But even that will be short lived. We may have some lingering rain showers mixing with snow on Wednesday, but other than that, we cool off and then right back up again as we start into March as we get back into the 60s. So get ready for the temperature roller coaster once again.